Welcome. I uh, have been asked by my friend Mohanad in Saudi Arabia to make a video about teaching a horse to drop their head to put the bridle on. So, which I've never done a video on how to do that, and I thought about it. All of my horses already know how to do it. This is the only one that doesn't know how. This is Katie, and she's a, an 18-year-old pony. She's a 12-hand high Welch type pony. I've only had her about 10 days, so I don't think she knows how to do this, and it's really not necessary for her because that's her normal headset. <laughs> you know, she doesn't really need to know it, but most horses do. If you've got a 16 hand horse or even 15 hand and its head's up here your horse needs to know how to drop its head so you can bridle it so i'm going to show you how to teach this with this mare i think she'll be a little bit resistant we'll see if your horse is really tall you may have to get a mounting block or something to teach it if you can't easily reach the top of their head when they raise it all the way up so the way you teach the horse to do that, first of all, you probably need to be able to move their nose side to side just by pushing on the side of their nose on that bone right there. So they need to be fairly flexible right here. So if you don't have that, I'd work on that first. It might even take you a little bit of time to get them pretty, pretty flexible there because it really, that'll help you if, if she's resistant putting her head down, this side to side will help you. So what you do is you take your two fingers, I use my third finger and my thumb, you put them right behind that little knowledge bump, which is the top of their skull, right there between your ears. And there's some muscles and ligaments right there, just about a, maybe a half an inch behind her ear. So you put your hands there and you press and kind of squeeze them together, kind of like this. And so usually what they'll do is kind of search around, let's see what she does. Well, she dropped her head. That's good. That's perfect. Uh, that's exactly what I want them to do. A lot of times what they'll do is kind of shake their head side to side. So, Katie, I was expecting you to make this video look difficult, and you're not doing that, are you? Uh, a lot of times they'll shake side to side, and she didn't. She just put her head down. And if they do, let me see if I could simulate it. Let's say I started pressing, and she started doing this, or she put her head up. Just hold your fingers there. Hold it until she lets it drop even the slightest quarter of an inch and then take your hand off rubber and start over again push it in and then there uh, push down there push down there now she's turning her head to the side so i'm going to pull her around here because i want her head ultimately to be right here basically touching my knee with her nose okay push there we go I'm keep her head tilted toward me push and you don't Ultimately, you don't want to have to push hard. You want to be able to just gently put your hand there and, and request the horse to drop its head. Push. She learned this a whole lot easier than I thought she would. So some horses, I've had some horses really fight this, and it took, you know, 20 minutes to get the first little give. And then I've had other horses like her. She picked up on it, and maybe that she already knew it. It's possible in her 18 years that someone has already taught her that cue she just hadn't used it in a while and then you want her to hold her head right there so then you'll take your bridle uh, let me just grab the bridle hold on a second i have it hanging here because some horses you can get them dropping their head but they're still going to fight you when you bring your bridle there so come here babe all right so and I'll just, in the beginning, I would do it with the halter still on. If I had a horse that wasn't easy to bridle and wasn't holding its head properly, I'd leave the bridle, the halter on to do it. So you're going to take your halter, hold it in your right hand, or bridle, I'm sorry. Take your bridle, hold it in your right hand. It might probably make this easier if you have grass that she wants to eat. You're going to hold your bridle right there. And then if she starts messing around and pulling her head then you still can put her right back where you want her then you're going to take your bridle capture her nose like that so that she can't get away okay and again at any point a horse that's resistant is going to start pulling its head away and if they do i've i've followed them all the way around the arena until i could get their head right back don't compromise this make you know if it takes you two or three or four days and four or five different sessions a little at a time don't compromise this don't put your bridle on until you've got the horse's head right where you want it to be and where she holds it there then you can just gently put your finger in her mouth 
and she's pulling away just a little. Slide your bridle in, come up here, pull your ears forward, just like that. And uh, so that's the way to do it. Push right behind that knowledge bump and release it every time you get just a little bit of give. Come back and do it again. That's how you teach your horse to drop your head for bridling. <laughs>